way you find me at Pine Close in Budlow and behind me here I have an absolutely beautiful three double bedroom property. It's been extended over the years, it's been well, well loved as a family home for many many years and now the couple are looking to downsize. So in here I have a really lovely modern property, it's been beautifully maintained and extended. It's got three double bedrooms like I said, you've got a lovely living room, a separate dining room, you've even got a separate office space outside. You've got a wood burner in there as well so what more could you want except maybe a garage and we do have garage over to the right hand side of the road there there is a single door on this garage but it is a double width so there's so much more to this house than meets the eye let me take you inside and show you a little bit more so let me take you on inside this fabulous three double bedroom property and straight away you're getting a glimpse of the living room there but we open into a really fabulous kitchen diner, kitchen breakfast room. Um, I'm just going to pan back to show you, obviously you've got the units up there but as I pan back on this space here you can see we have loads of space here. Uh, as I come around this way for a table. So you've table and chairs in here quite easily. You've got a really nice range of refitted units. We've got beautiful painted um, cupboards there with a wooden worktop over. A nice range along the right hand side here with a fabulous range of shelving and the glass hanging over in the corner there. You've got spaces for the dishwasher, tumble dryer, fridge freezer and washing machine. All as we come through and open up into the more of the kitchen area where we've got a double eye level oven, um, induction hob set into the wooden worktop and even more units around here. What's really lovely about this space as I pan up is that you've got this fabulous big velux in the vaulted ceiling. So a real nice bonus to throw in loads of light and you've got the sink under the window so you can look out on the front garden and onto the road beyond. So really lovely space. I'm going to pan back round again a little just so that you get a better feel for that dining room space where you could easily, as you can see, put a table and chairs in there. And then in the corner, we have a very useful cupboard. Now this is a pantry, so I'm only going to give it a quick glimpse. See, there we go. Really good space, got a freezer in the back there, um, but really, really handy to have that. Now, coming through to the living space, and this really isn't what I expected when I walked in here. A fabulous room with wooden floors. You've got this beautiful wood burner in the middle here, giving loads and loads of heat into the property. Now this house has all of, the, all of them up here, uh, is fired by electric heating. So we don't have any gas central heating here. So you've got electric night storage, which is really, really economical, but you've also got the wood burner. It's actually a dual fuel. These guys are using coal. So they're burning coal at the moment, but you have got the option of either. You've got the doorway through into the rear hallway. So you've got another door in from the back garden. And I'm just gonna pan round into this corner just to give you another view of the living room from this end as well. So really nice, you can see we've got plenty of space. We've got two really large sofas on this side and we've even got another little one under the window here along with more units. Beautifully modern, I love the tiled paved half as well. Um, but then as we come through, more living accommodation, we have this fabulous dining room. So this could be a playroom, this could be a dining room. This is just a really lovely space. You've got a fabulous fireplace there. That's inset with an electric fire. You've got the panelling all around the room, which gives it a lovely feature. You've got a tiled paved half to the fireplace and a really nice space in here. You've got a much bigger table in here than is currently utilised. And then as I turn and swing around again, we've also got another room downstairs. So this would make an absolutely beautiful little garden room. An absolutely brilliant study because you'd be sat there looking out onto the garden. But I've actually got another space for that, which I'll show you in a moment when we go outside. Um, but this is a really lovely sized room. Brilliant as a playroom for the children, or the dining room could be a playroom for the children. There's just so many options. Um, such a great use of space and lovely to have the patio doors straight out onto the garden space as well. So I'm gonna take you on back through and I'm gonna go upstairs first. We'll show you the bedrooms that we've got up there and then we'll take you outside and show you the garden, but also importantly, another sort of studio room which you could use as an office. So all the way up to the top here, 
and what was a two bedroom house has now been extended to three doubles. So we have three quite equal sized rooms in some respects. So this is the first one at the top of the stairs. You've got a really nice long double room, currently utilized by the resident teenager, but so surprisingly neat and tidy in here today, bless him. We've got a really good space for double bed, lots of space either side of it. We've got what is an open cupboard at the moment, but you could easily put doors back on that if you wanted to. So built-in wardrobe space. And if I come up to this end and just pan back round again, you'll see that there's more than enough space the other side of the door for a range of wardrobes. Obviously we've got a desk in here and a shelving unit as well. So lots and lots of space in this first double bedroom. As we come onto the landing, you're just seeing that we've got the airing cupboard to the left. Obviously we have loft access as well here and a really lovely kind of gallery landing with loads and loads of light flooding in today. It's nice that it's a bit sunny, but it just shows how light this house is. Then we've got a second double bedroom here. Really nice size. You can see we've got a big double in here with bedside tables. Really lovely size room overall because on top of that, we have double sliding mirrored wardrobe doors over on the other side and also behind the door there there's also a bulkhead covered over the stairs so really good space in here overlooking the garden at the back and then what you really wouldn't expect is a little ensuite so in here we have a toilet a little basin in the corner and a very useful shower cubicle on the left hand side so shower in here but there's also another room with a shower as well. So this could be your main bedroom or the next one could also be your main bedroom. So I'm going to take you through this kind of linked landing corridor area. Loads of space as you can see for shelving in here. And then you've got a separate bigger bedroom over at this end. So I would say that all these bedrooms are a very similar size, like I say. This has got the biggest bed in here. Um, currently used as the master bedroom really nice space and as I can as I come around you'll see that all the way along that back wall there is plenty of space for freestanding wardrobes equally you could have something built in if you wanted to we've got nice spotlights in here you're again on the quieter side looking over the back into the garden and yet again we have another ensuite this is much bigger so this is why this is probably being used as the master we've got a really nice big corner shower cubicle over to the right hand side and then we've also got the basin need to towel well and you've got the loo tucked over there but enough space to be able to have a shower get out and dry yourself before coming back into the room which is a bit of a novelty with some ensuites these days and then last but not least on this level again we have this is extended we've got two lofts so we have another loft hatch there and then as I come through we have the family bathroom as well so a really excellent size room and uh, basin toilets and a big corner bath nice and deep so lovely size room in here heated tile well as well nice tiled floor uh, what more could you want really so as we come through the back door out onto a really large patio area here we've got plenty of space for seating now this garden is quite broken up so there are areas of different areas for seating different areas to enjoy practical areas at the back here we have the gate onto parking area but we also have a garage which we will show you as well and then very handily just over to the left great space for putting all the bins and everything then we've got trellis with beautiful clematis and honeysuckle, I believe, climbing all over it and roses, but obviously this time of year, not looking its best. So these will really flat, sort of fill out over the summer and the spring and look absolutely stunning. So we've got further patio area here. Those are the doors through into the little garden room, study, whatever you want it to be. And then you've got more space up a couple of steps here underneath this pagoda. Really nice sort of decking area here beautiful space here we had a robin singing a minute ago just in the tree behind who apparently is very tame and likes mealworms um, and then we also have a storage shed out here or a playhouse um, depending on whether the kids or grandkids take it first and then a really nice little area of garden nice and low maintenance over to this side here so if you wanted to you could open this all up a bit more and it would make it feel even bigger there's our little robin in the tree, if you can see him. Chirping away. So he's the resident robin. Sorry, I digress. But most importantly to show you is 
the extra little storage space out here. Now this isn't really storage. This is lined, it's insulated. You've got a light, electric, and everything in here. And a fabulous space in here, currently utilized as a gym. Um, but you could also equally have this as a really lovely office space. So you've got the window out to the front there, so you can sit looking out over to the front. And you've got tons of space in here for a couple of desks if you wanted to. But this also makes a great space, uh, like it has currently used for a gym or an outside garden room, or just a really fantastic storage space. So a real extra bonus to this property for sure. So coming through into the garden, I'm just going to take you around to where the garages are and show you a little bit more. So as we come over the road, we have this fabulous garage. So you've got the single door at the front there, but you can see how much extra has been added to this by means of an extension. So potentially a double, but I would say more likely a one and a half on size wise. Um, you've got more than enough space in there to park a car. You've got um, access to that extra storage space that makes a really good useful space. And literally, as I pan around, that's the side of the house there. So you can even see where it is from the property, it's a very short distance. So, if you're in a position to sit, no, I don't need to do that bit. 